Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. We are once again right where we left off. We got all our Mandrake, and we are going to head north. We're going to go to pause and start our, our acquisition of reagents. So let's uh, board the vessel. Let's use the wheel in case we're running into any pirate scum. And let's uh, head north. We don't have to go very far to get the paws. I'm probably going to have to kill all of them because they're just going to follow us all the way to paws. And this is as good a place as any. I mean, yeah, we can board and or, or land and go get some gold. Whoops. Just keeping the... Oh, God. These guys will actually... Oh, I'm surprised. They'll fire... They'll, they'll sail out. Yeah, there it is. I knew we were close. Um, okay, so let's exit. I think it's been a little bit since we, uh, since we camped. So let's do that. We can get... We're still not at full health because of all the poison that uh, was going on. Oh, my bloody heck. All right, let's take these, which means this isn't going to work for us either because you never get any health effects from sleeping when you are disturbed. All right, Joffrey, you can't help. All right. Uh, okay, that one's gone. Most of these people, who's still sleeping? Dupree. I don't know quite sure how you can sleep through orcs attacking us. That seems like that would be difficult. Oh, and now he's fleeing. Right into Shamino. There we go. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> I would like to get some health for my people. Is that really so much to ask? Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, players are healed, so most people are full up. Um, and Joffrey and Katrina are a lot better, and I'm a lot better. Okay, so let's enter town. So actually, let's take a minute here, and let's go to the notes. And let's look at our reagents. So here in pause, ginseng and garlic are the cheapest. So that's what we're going to be focused on. Uh, I'm, I have some ginseng. We're going to have to look and see how much we have. Uh, we're totally out of garlic because I used it up uh, dealing with making stuff for mandrake. So um, let's take a look at spells that are using ginseng and garlic. Um, I might make some awakens. I have to look, we'll have to look and see how much we have. Uh, definitely, I've got a few more cur cures I want to do. Dispel, I'll we'll have to see how many we have. Um, what I have a good, those are good for energy fields, uh, to get rid of them. Heal, ginseng and spider silk. We might need to make some more of those. So that's the ginseng side of the fence. Uh, garlic, garlic, garlic. Negate. I want to have some negates on hand. I probably already have some. We'll see how much I have. I think I probably made a bunch last time because it uses Mandrake. So we might be all set on that score. Um, protect quickness. Resurrect. Uh, I probably should make some of those if I haven't. I'm going to have to look. Um, yeah, that's about it. So... Um, Let's go back to the game. Let's look at our stats and let's just see. Um, first of all, let's, let's see how, how everybody is as far as levels, and then um, and then uh, we'll take a peek at to see how much of the other reagents we have and what spells we actually have. I'm almost at, at maxing out on my experience. So that's kind of cool. Joffrey, he's level five. He's got to get to 
Um, oh, he had to get to 800 to get to level six. Holy heck, he's almost to level seven. No, no, I'm, I'm reading this wrong. He's almost to level six. He needs 1600, so he's almost there. Um, Katrina has got about another 400 or so, 300. Uh, yeah, so all of our level five peeps are pretty close. Iolo, um, he must have just gotten to level seven, if I'm reading this right, um, at 3215. Really? Okay. So he's got to double that before he can get to level eight. I guess he hasn't, has he not been fighting that much? I guess you only get XP for kills. You don't get XP for partials. So Julia is level six. She's got to get to level, to 3,200 to get to level seven. Uh, Shamino's getting there. Julia is level three. She needs to get to 400 to get to level four. And she's, she's almost there. So I don't see anybody, um, anybody leveling up we'll probably still if we're not 100 percent health we'll still probably still because we're going to go to britain next um we'll probably still go get healed by lord british uh, but i don't think anybody's uh leveling up i want to try to sell that magic bow um nothing's changed there and let's go to you yeah, we do the white and black zone okay so we've got 18 ginseng 28 all right, we got 21 Nightshade. I'm going to talk about Nightshade. We're going to go get some more, but I don't know that I'm going to go nuts about it. Okay, so a metric boatload of Black Pearl, which is good. It was really cheap, um, so that's good news. Uh, but we need to get more garlic and more ginseng. So let's look at our spells, and let's see what, what we have. So I've got 10 Awaken probably enough uh i've got one blink for dungeon crawling i don't see blinkies being very very helpful for us um we got 28 cures i want to get that at least up to 32 um we've got 12 dispels and that might be enough and 12 energy uh fields where we can set up our own energy fields that also might be enough. I might get a few more energy fields. I haven't really tried using those in combat, so maybe I'll try to get that up to 20 or something. We have 54 fireballs. I will probably want to make um, a few more of those. Maybe like enough to get up to 75, which is going to go through a bunch of our black pearls. So we may want to we may want to make another run over to um, uh, the den to buy more black pearl. And top that up. G is gate spell. We have five gate spells. That's enough. Uh, I only see that as if we have to if we have to do an emergency exit out of a um, out of a dungeon and we're someplace where we can't get up get out. Um, like that one that was we were on, where we found the balloon, um, which I think was High Floss actual entrance. So yeah, okay. Healing spells need a bunch more healing spells and. Um, Jinx, we have 15 Jinx, so we're good on Jinx. Oh, I actually did do some kill spells. Interesting. I thought about doing that just to try it out at some point. Uh, I didn't realize I'd actually made the spell. These are ones that were, were told it's evil. And, um, hmm, okay. Uh, we've got 10 light spells. Probably want to make a bit more of that. Um, we'll do that when we, when we can buy, um, Sulfur Sash cheaply. It's not too bad here. It's three here, whereas Moonglow and Scarbrae it's two. So you know we'll save one gold coin if we wait. We'll make we'll make a bunch of those, maybe thirty or so. I mean they lasted a, a long time. We get fifteen the gate, so that's probably good. We got opens, yeah, that's open. We got protect, ten of those. That's probably good. Quickness. We might want to use some of those. I mean, these are things I, I haven't used a lot of, but maybe uh, as we are battling through the dungeon, um, things like quickness and protect are going to be very helpful. Sleep spells, uh, we have three. That might be worth making a few more, maybe like get up to 10 on those. Um, we'll have to w wait until we get to the other places because that's spider silk and ginseng. 20 tremors, so I think we're good on that for the moment. 
Uh, that's wind chains. I don't, why did I make eight wind changes? Holy heck. I guess we could use it when we're sailing. It's not going to have uh, any other use. And there's certainly nothing we can use in the dungeons. And then we've got an exit spell. And we probably ought to make some. There's a, a, an up and down spell, which is actually Y and Z for going up and down levels. Um, we we'll probably ought to make a few of those in case we need to. We have no other way to get up a level. Um we can do that. So we'll probably add some of those. So, okay. So that's good. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go get what we're here for. And what we're here for is garlic and ginseng. We can also get ginseng at Scarbray. Um, it's, that's armor. I wonder if these guys, do they sell, what kind of marker do you? No. I don't think the, I don't think the, what were the food prices here? I don't remember them being particularly good. Pause. No, they're not. They're the, they're the third cheapest, but no, they're not. We're going to be in Scarabray, so. And that's the cheapest place to buy rations, so. We won't deal with that. All right, let's, the horse place, the tavern, nothing we need there. Trying to remember where the herb place is at. at this thing. So we got the market. Where can we buy magical herbs? It wasn't in there. That was like somebody we had to talk to and we had to deal with the the mad horse. And we've talked to all these people. I don't want to talk to these people. I just want to find the shop. This is the armorer. Kind of bummed there's not somebody that's selling. Somebody that's selling um, weapons. Oh, I wonder if we get. This is kind of a big building here. Oh, no, that's the tavern. Any, f any fake walls? I don't see any. All right. I'm missing something here. There's a fake wall. There we go. All right. I am in need of reagents. So, t -t 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 -t. so again, we've, we've got 18 ginseng and we've got zero, um, garlic. All right. So let's start off with, uh, ginseng four gold pieces which is what I was expecting. So I basically, to, to get up to 99, I need um, 81. I will pay 324. Okay, yes, uh, I need garlic. Um, how many would I like? 99. That'll be 198 gold pieces. Right? Because that's two, yeah, two cents each. Or two gold pieces each. I will pay 198. Okay, no. All right, so. The things, the spells that we want to make... Spells that we specifically that have garlic and ginseng is what I do. It's like I did before. I want to make those spells and then I want to stock up again. Um, so we've got 10 awaken. That's good. Don't care about blink. We need to make cures. So we'll make cures. So cure is one. Dispel, we've got 12. I think we're good on that. I'm just looking for things that have garlic and ginseng in it. Heals. We've got 13, so we need to do Cure and Heal. Um, and then Negate. We did Negates when we did, the, uh, when we did that, so we're good on that. Sleep Spells, we've got three. Might make a few more of those. Maybe get us up to 10. I mean, I haven't had the greatest luck with those, but I, I think they're okay. Um, I think they're okay. So uh, we'll, we'll keep some. It might, it might help us. 
We got, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Um, undead. By the way, uh, undead is I'm, I'm, the description of it is that it is um, you. Ha, you know, every every spellcaster has a unique combination, but you have to really know your your reagents and um, and uh, uh, understand their properties. And I was looking at the spell book here and two things I noticed. First of all, spider silk. Um, da, 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 is with restraining spells. A and the name of the spider that where the spiders is, is albino ghoul. I was looking for anything that, that might have something to do with undead. And so I'm like, okay, so there's that one. And then if I, get up here to garlic whoops they're not oh, that's right they're not in alphabet to garlic it specifically says it's is the repelling of beings once dead and if we look at the undead spell let's say i gotta remember my undead i mean reading this when i was talking about how You know, you must use your knowledge of the properties of magical reagents to determine which two, so there's only two, will enforce your enchantment of undead turning. When you have found the proper mixture, cast it at your foes while chanting the name of what the creatures once were when they had earth and life. So this sounds like you're spawning undead to attack your enemies. The wiki page makes it sound like it's more of a repel undead. So I'm... I'm confused about that but i'm thinking it's i'm thinking it's garlic and spider silk and i might have to try just um because there isn't anything else that has that particular combination uh, by itself um we've got a couple with ginseng and spider silk and spider silk and ginseng but nothing with spider silk and garlic so I'm kind of wondering if that is the combination for undead, and maybe when we get our un, when we get our, our our garlic here, we'll go ahead and try to do that. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick note. So spider silk and garlic. That's my guess. We'll see. We'll try. It. We'll try it once. If it doesn't work, then we'll move on. But that could be handy, perhaps. Okay, so we are gonna first next. We need to do some cure spells. So we're gonna do uh, cure. And we need, um, for cure, it's garlic and then ginseng. So that's CB. So we're up to 30. Okay, so that gives us 32 cure spells. So that's three uh, complete... Um, unpoisoning curing of each of my companions i think that's good i think that's good some people i mean the reality is if we deal if we have to deal with going through poison things or whatever some people might get poisoned more than once we shouldn't be in a position where everybody gets poisoned all that often i hope i don't know who knows what the abyss will bring us but um yeah okay so we'll go from there so now we need to do heals and heal spells are ginseng and spider silk. So that's going to be B and D. So B and D. And I got 15. And I think I'm going to follow the same strategy. I'm going to have 32, so that'll give me three heals, potentially, for every single one of, of the party, besides myself. Um, I mean, I don't really have to heal myself much. Um, you know, if I have to, I have to. But 
Where are we at? We're at 31. All right, I'll do one more <laughs> for me. Okay, so that's heal. That's good. Um, so, da, 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 da. okay, so I would say I was going to try. We're here. Let's just for chucks. All right, so if it is, let's uh, first try spider silk and garlic. So that's going to be D and C. Okay, I'll try it one more time. And now we're going to say C and D. Okay, so obviously it's not that. I'm pretty confident in the garlic. I was making a bit of a, a bit of a stretch there for the spider silk. Um, but you know, talking about repelling undead, uh, I don't know. I just thought it might be interesting to try out. Um, but uh, we will worry about that at another time. So uh, everything else I think is gonna happen when we're at the other places, when we can buy the other things. There's not that much. We've got 12 dispels. Yeah, we're good on that. Yeah, there's really not that much that's, that's based on ginseng and garlic um, that we need, that we don't already have. So let's uh, top those off because they are used a lot. Okay, so I've got 75, gin I've used 75 ginseng. Uh, or I have 75, so I use 25. So I want ginseng. And uh, I would like 24. 96 gold pieces is what I shall pay. Uh, and now then, yes, I need some more garlic. How many would I like? I need six. 12 gold pieces. Easy peasy. And that is it for here. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So we'll go back out. And we'll board our ship. And we... Oh, I should use the wheel. Oh, yeah. I noticed this before. Um, there's a, a length of effect on the wheel. So it's still in effect. Our ship health is still 99, which is interesting. Uh, but we're going to go up to uh, to Britain now. I want to sell that crossbow. And we'll go ahead and visit um, Lord British and get... Uh... All right. Wins from... There we go. I'll use one of those up. <laughs> Just because I'm tired of it taking forever and a day. All right. There we go. That was easy. It, it doesn't last very long. That's see, you were already because I said to do the the winds coming from from the east, and that that was whoops. I don't want to do that. I want to do exit. That was why I was not at all thrilled about the thought of using that balloon to get to that that place where that the silent ankh was, as I dubbed it. Um, I mean, you would need to make it just a crap ton of those of those wind chain spells and you just never know you just never know how long it's going to last it could last you know for 30 seconds it could last for one second and all the while you're you're flying through the air trying to hit this spot that's one square big it's like no i'm not in interested in that so then when the commenter said, hey, <laughs> maybe blink. I'm like, I like that. I can have some control over that. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, can you heal us? Nope. There we go. Get everybody up to full health. Perfect. I think that's all we need from thee. All right. So... Descend. Nope. Oh, nope. I gotta open this. 
All right, so we will leave Britain's castle, and we're going to go over here to Britain and see if I can sell that magic bow. There is somebody here that sells weapons. Yes. Weaponry right there. I hope I can get um, a decent price. A thousand. Ouch. Because I paid like five for it. Uh, we got a few other stops to make. I'm going to say... I'm not going to sell my hands. All right. Yick. <laughs> I didn't like that price. I mean, I would love to be, you know, I forget. I did try to sell it at Buccaneer's Den. And maybe this would be another reason to go back to Buccaneer's Den. I don't remember what he, I thought he gave me at least two grand for it. Um, I don't know. Thousand seems seems like okay so let's let's think about what we have to do here and what our next step is going to be so i'm going to do look at my stats again uh, and let's look at what we got um so we got all those things um the reagents, we need to get some of them at Scarbray, and we need to get some of them at Moonglow. Let me switch to my notes here. So we need to get some of them at Scarbray and some of them at Moonglow. The only one that we absolutely have to get at Moonglow is the Spider Silk because it's the same price for Sulfur Sash. Um, what do we need Spider Silk for? Well, blink would be one. Energy field. Um, we have 12 energy fields. I think we're good on those. Um, what did I say? Sulfur sash? Yeah. I mean, we need to make a bunch of fireballs. We've got 54. I probably want to get that... I'll get that up a bit. I might just get that up to 75. I mean, I was th sitting here thinking, I really, really want that because that's my prime offensive ranged weapon, but I've got my magic wand now. But I will still probably make some more just so we have them. Um, just so we have them. And, and I'm not the only one that can cast them too. So that's something else to think of. Uh, gate travel we don't need to worry about for this purpose. Light spells. So we need Saul first ash for that. I mean, I'm not going to. We've got 10. I'll probably create 30 or so of, of that. And then we'll just make sure we got some more Saul first ash with us. Um, so that'll be fine. Magic missile. I prefer fireballs and magic missiles. I didn't see where that worked out well. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, we've got an adequate supply of uh, protect and quick, quickness, I think. So I'm not going to worry about those. Um, resurrect. I do not have any resurrect. Oh uh, yeah. So I need to do some resurrect spells. Um, so, so, I mean, hopefully I don't have to resurrect a lot. I probably would only need like 10. So I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. I've got the spider silk, 14 of them, and blood moss. I kind of wish I did this when I was at pause, but I'm thinking I need to make the resurrect spell now. So I have them. And maybe I'll just make... Uh, eight seven really but i guess i'll i'll make eight yeah we have eight in our party so i can resurrect everybody once that's sufficient hopefully people are not going to be dying left and right that is my hope um so oh there's seven well eight, one of them is me obviously i can't resurrect myself so okay Let's go back. Right, let, let's make our resurrect spells. I'm going to be a little bummed because we're going to be a little bit lower than 99 with the garlic and ginseng, but I guess that'll be fine. 
So let's get out of there. Let's mix spells for resurrect. So there's so much on here. Sulfur, ash, A, B, for ginseng, C for garlic, spider silk is D, <laughs> blood moss is E. It's literally A, B, C, D, E. It fizzles. I did not expect that. Let's go back over here and let's look at the resurrect spell. Sleep, resurrect. The, the, the screen is slain. Uh, the living breeze of features. Yeah, we got that from somebody else. We had to find that. Sulfur ash ginseng. Ginseng garlic. Spider silk blood moss. All right, let's go back to the game. Let's try that one more time. Maybe I missed something. Resurrect. Right. So sulfur ash is A. Ginseng is B. Garlic is C. Spider silk is D. And blood moss is E. Okay. Apparently something was missed when I wrote that down. Hmm. Okay, we'll worry about that later. Or never at all. Okay, one change we don't worry about. Blood moss spider silk, we'll do those when we get to where we can where we're gonna go to get the blood moss and the spider silk. Um Okay, so where do I wanna go from here? And let's talk about Mandrake. So or not Mandrake. Nightshade. So I've got 21 Nightshade right now. And if I go over here and look at my spells, if we look at our spells that take Nightshade, we've got the Jinx. Um, we've got the Jinx already, and I think we actually... Uh, I've got 15 Jinx already done. So I don't see a need to do any more Jinx. I've already got the kill spells made. Uh, if we ever try that, um, uh, we'll, we'll probably try it at some point, even if it's just like loading a previous save and doing it. So we'll, we'll definitely try that at some point. Um, and then what else? And then view. I don't currently have any view spells. I might make a, f a few. I mean, we've got 99 gems. I might not make any and just, you know, make them on the way if I really have to. But if you think about it, I've got 99 gems. We've got, we've got, we know about high Uh And so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they seem to be, they seem to be um, eight, 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 levels to the dungeons uh we have seven of them so that's 45 gems if i could peer at each level once you know so i i can easily do twice and have a few left over i don't you know if i have to um uh, that's a lot you know so i don't know that i'm going to need the view spell but if it looks like we're starting to maybe i'm doing a lot more than i thought then i'll, I'll craft some view spells um, but I'm not going to go nuts about that. So, you know, this is kind of my long winded way of saying, I don't have an urgent need to make anything right now based on nightshade. If we switch back to the game, I've got 21 of them. So I might go to that spot back over by Vesper and I might, I'll probably grind there for a little bit and, um, get some more, but I don't know that I'm going to bother taking all the way up to 99. 
I just don't see the utility of it being that great. I might get it up to 50 and let that be that. Uh, just because of the time it takes to do it. You know, thankfully, it's in a spot where you're not in poison, so that's cool. All right, so we basically, we're on the hunt for reagents. We also need to buy food. So let's head to, oh, man, I really was hoping to sell that bow and get a halfway decent price for it. I'm not happy that I'm not getting a halfway decent price for it. Let's head over to Scarabray. Let's head over to Scarabray because we can get the sulfur sash there. Uh, we can get more ginseng there if we need to. And we can also get, if I remember correctly, that's also the cheapest food. Yes, it is. All right, so let's figure out. So from here to get to Scarabray, we need to go to Minoc, I think. So that's the second one there. And then Minoc, we can go to Scarbray, which is the third one. Yes. So we will go out and we will take the moon. Whoops. Yeah, yeah. Let me out. We will take the moon gate to Minoc and then take the moon gate again. And I guess we probably got to fight these idiots. However, oh, this idiot, this singular idiot. I think Joffrey, I mean, wasn't he like kind of close? But he needs, he needs some XP. And there's Shamino. Oh, that reminds me of one other thing I want to, I want to look at too. I'll let Joffrey do this. Shamino can always back him up with his bow. If he, you know, if he gets a major case of the misses. There we go. Good. 43 gold. Very nice. Okay. So this is going to open up on the crescent waxing, which is going to be just here. And we want the second, um, the second, um, so there it is. All right, so there's Minoc. So when Minoc is going to, its moon gate's gonna appear at the full moon, which is not gonna be very much longer, and we want the third destination. So, come on. First. Second, third. All right, so this should be Scarabray. Let's take a look at the stats again real quick. All right, so magic points. I wanted to see how many magic, what magic points everybody has because I know some people can um, do a bit of magic. I, like I know Shamino can. Uh, so let's take a look. So, you know, Joffrey as a fighter, He's got bupkis. <laughs> He's got nothing, which isn't surprising. Uh, Katrina, as a shepherd, also has absolutely nothing. Okay. Dupree, as a paladin, he's got 31. So that's not bad. And right now he's using... What are you using? Oh, no, he's got a bow. For some reason, I'm still showing him using a mystic sword. He's, he's got a bow. All right. Um, so he could do some. I'm thinking like if we need additional people to, to like fire off, um, you know, a, a fireball spell or something. Uh, okay. So Iolo's got 28, which isn't bad. Julia's got 14. She's not going to have a lot. I don't know if there's a lot she can do with that. Maybe she could do a cure or a heal spell with that. Um, I have a feeling of fire. I haven't really looked to see, like, when I cast a fireball, how much does it take? I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm guessing um, that might just totally... 
a fireball might totally eat that up or that may not be enough. All right. And then Shamino's got 28, which is the same as Iolo, which is interesting. And then Jana has got 27. So most of the party can, can do some casting. So the only one that's not using um, a bow right now is... Katrina, because she can't use bows. She also has no magicka, so, all right. And then Joffrey. And Joffrey, yeah, that's not very helpful because he's also, he can't use, he can't use a bow. Um, he can't use magic weapons other than the mystics and, and he's got zero magic. So, okay. That was just something I wanted to look at. I wanted to have an idea of who can cast besides me, you know, that way if like my magic is getting low or something like that. All right. Mystic healer. We do not need any healing. We're all at top health. Let's come in here. The inn, food for thought. Okay. There's no there's no place to sell weapons here, is there? No, there's not. But there is a place to buy reagents. It's not at the Mystic Healer. All right. We've got an inn and food for thought. Where is the place you go? Oh, there we are. Okay, I was going to say. All right, so what do we need? <sighs> so once again, the cheap reagents here are sulfurous ash and ginseng. Now ginseng, hey, we could top off, I suppose. We just did a, a little bit, but we can we can top off and get a couple, so... The main thing we need to get here is sulfurous ash, and then I'll make make what uh, uh, the uh, the lights, and then we'll top off again. All right, so let's do sulfurous ash, two gold pieces each. Ninety nine minus twenty six would be seventy three. One hundred forty six. Yes, thank you very much. And then um, the other thing to get here would be ginseng. Yes, I need something else. I need ginseng. And I need a, a, a t two. Okay. And this is the place to buy blood moss also. So, yes, I need something else. I need blood moss for four gold pieces. So, I've got 26. So, once again, that's going to be 73. Three, and I'll pay two ninety two. Okay, so we're topped off on on blood moth, and that's all we want to get here. We will need to go to Moon Glow for spider silk, and that's that's the last of our reagents. That's the last of our reagents. Okay. All right. So let's mix for light. I think that's the only one we really need to, to make with sulfur sash right now. So, yeah, I'm not going to work on magic missile. I've already got all those. I've got three sleeps. That's spider silk and ginseng, so we'll deal with that when we're at Moonglow. Wind change, exit. I've got one exit. I might want to make some more exits here. So, but let's start off with light. Light's the easiest one because it's just the one reagent. So, so how many do I have? Where am I at? 11. All right. So, I don't know, maybe... Should I make like 50 of these? How many are up to now? 
17. So now I'm up to 27. If I make 50 of these, and that will, I mean, I'll basically eat through half of my, what I just bought for my current stock, but I can stock up because we're still here. Uh, so I'm at 38. Forty-six. One, two, three, four. So we're at fifty light spells. I'm happy with that. Okay, and then uh, exit spells. So exit spells are sulfur ash, blood moss, spider silk. So A E D. All right, that was a success. I'm going to do five. Because if we have to exit, we shouldn't have to do that very often. We'll only like do the exit if we're like 100% done and we've gotten everything or like somebody stole all our food and we have to get out now. That's, to my mind, that's an emergency thing. Okay. And then up and down is blood moss and spider silk. Um, so since I'm here where I can buy blood moss, let's uh, do that. So for, we'll do the up first. Uh, so what did I say? Uh, up is blood moss and spider silk. So that's E and D. Right. I don't see having to use this a lot. I'm going to make 10 of each, I think. So I'm doing the Y up and then we'll do the Z down. So I need three more. Oh, crap. That's going to. Oh. I guess it ignored the R because we don't have that many. Interesting. I figured that was going to fizzle. All right, two more Ys. None left. What did I use up? My spider silk. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, and we got to get that at Moonglow. All right, well, let's... Oh, I was looking at the other guy and thinking that was me. Uh, yes, I am. All right, so we need to buy more sulfur ash again. Uh, we need 45, so that'll be 90. Yes, and let's stock up on blood moss again. Uh, so that would be 14, actually 13. I'll pay 52. All right. Is there anything else I bought here? Ginseng. That's already topped off. Okay. All right. We're good. We are good. All right. So now we've got 2,000 gold. Where am I? I'm looking, I'm looking at the wrong guy again. <sighs> we have 2,000 gold. Um... This is the place to buy food because it is the cheapest. If I look at my notes, this is where we can get it 25 for 20. I mean, we got a lot of food, but I want a lot, lot of food. But at the same time, we need enough money to buy the rest of the reagents, to buy the spider silk. All right, well, I guess we'll get some. I probably don't, I mean, re realistically, I probably don't need um, 
Uh, let me go back to the notes. So the reagent. So, so um, we're going to Moon Glow. I could get more sulfur ash if I need it there, but the main thing is spider silk. And that's three per. And spider silk is three per. Oh, and I have zero. So I would want to buy 99 of them. And 99 times three is going to be about 300. It'll be what, 297 or something like that. Uh, and then once I get the spider silk, we'll just need to make the rest of the the ups and and ten of the downs. So I'll need to buy. I'll probably want to buy a little bit more after that. And then that will. I don't think there's anything else I really need to make with spider silk to be ready. We've already done our heels. Yeah, yeah. So. I think that'll be okay. So I could spend up to like $1,500 of this, I think. I think, I think, I think. All right. So let's... All right. Um, all right. Yes. 25 for only 20 gold pieces. How many packs of 25 would you like? So it's four for 100. Four packs of 25 would be 100 packs, which would be 80 gold pieces. So if I said... If I said 40... Okay, that took like a thousand. Let's say 20. 889. I got 4,700 packs. Let's say four. Yes, I didn't want to say four. Let's say eight. There we go. There we go. We got 5,000 food. That'll last us quite a while. We get 600 gold, which is enough. And then we we can sell that stupid bow. That would be awesome sauce. Okay, good. We're in pretty good shape. So actually, let's go back to the notes. And let's look at... Um, let's look at our grinding checklist. Uh, okay, so buy more food. Done. We're in the middle of these two, mix spells and buy reagents. So, but we've made a lot of progress on that. And let's look at navigation. So from here, from Scarabray, because the next place we need to go is Moonglow. And I'm thinking maybe we'll do that next time because we're almost an hour, about an hour-ish, give or take. I'm thinking maybe that'll happen next time. Go to Moonglow. Get that, and maybe maybe go get some more uh, nightshade. Not a ton, but just a bit, and then we're ready to go into the ready to go into the dungeons. I think, I think, I think. So yeah, that's sounding like a sounding like a plan. But I am going to let that be that. We will stop here at uh, at Scarbray. And we'll come outside and we'll, maybe we'll just take a little rest because for some reason Joffrey is still... I thought everybody was topped off from Lord British, but he's one hit point down. Don't get it. But anyway, I will be back soon with another episode. Thank you for joining me on this one. If you did, I mean, it's just grinding, but we're preparing. We're getting everything together and you're getting a bit of my strategy a little bit. I've got more to talk about that as when we've actually hit the, um, hit the dungeons, which is going to be soon, but until next time, be seeing you.